is a rainy day. Let's do something. How's it going guys? Welcome back today. Today, if this world was not as messed up as it was, today we would be in St. Louis. Right about now, we'd be wrapping up our booth build, hanging up all our products, talking about how cool it looks, really happy with our progress, and hopeful for tomorrow. But, fortunately that's not going to happen. Luckily, the community has been really, really awesome, and they've been placing a lot of orders of our products. Especially, our super flex bodies that you watched us make um, are going really well. Right now, as you can see in the back there, I've got a foam master, um, which any of you mold makers should know what that is. I learned that from Ed Edmonds. It's essentially um, a kind of a pure pool from a mold that you keep so that when your mold eventually wears out, because every time you make a mask or whatever it is in a mold, you pull out small chunks of, of plaster, just tiny kind of specks, and over time it wears out and then you, you don't have a mold. So what do you do when you still have this awesome product? You don't want to have to re-sculpt it, so you use a foam master. What you do is you have a foam piece of whatever mask or product or whatever it is that you have, and you um, remold that kind of as a sculpt. Right now, I am driving to Chicago. There's a company that is going to make us a fiberglass mold of our body here so that we've got a better mold that'll last longer, more pools, all that stuff. It's going to be great. So I'm driving out there right now. I also learned that there's a distributor in Chicago that has our expanding foam. So I'm driving out there to grab that. And um, I've already ordered plaster, but I found out that the same distributor carries our plaster. So that makes it really good, means I don't have to order it online anymore. I can literally just drive out there and buy it. It's only about 45 minutes, so fantastic. Um, really good to know that I have somewhere and someone around here that has that product. I've spent about two years trying to find someone in the area that actually carries it, and now I do, so it's fantastic. Anyway, we're gonna drive out there, we're gonna check it out, and then later tonight, we should be up at the haunt working on some stuff. Let's do it! A quick update of news about my life. Um, ever since October, I have been on a binge of working out, eating healthy, things like that. And um, since October, I have lost 24 pounds. Really happy about it. I'm gonna keep going. I am only four pounds away from my goal and then we'll see where we go from there. So that's fantastic. Um, apart from that, guys, the company is doing very, very well. If you're interested in any products, make sure you order them now because the orders are starting to pile up very quickly. So make sure to place your orders on any products. Um, hot products right now are our bodies, our clown horns are huge, and claustrophobias are really popular. Um, and some of our masks are exploding as well so make sure you order products now because as it keeps kind of going we're not even at trans world yet so that's happening in may so make sure you place orders now to make sure that you have them in time um, we always make sure all our orders are out on time but i know our buyers kind of get impatient and um, they get anxious but you don't have to worry about that we've never missed a deadline so anyway place your orders now we're driving to Chicago <sighs> oh well 
two more months or something like that. Then we'll be heading that way. South to St. Louis. See all my friends, see all the products. Start our year. Right now I'm trying to just not relive a final destination movie and have all these things fly off the truck to kill me. Good times. All right guys, so I, I did not record inside of the um, store where I, I got the expanding foam. But, oh my God, that store is incredible. Um, I am likely going to be moving all of my business to that store for, they have every product I use for creating things. They have all the expanding foams, all our plaster. They have latex, they have, they have clay. They have everything I could need in one location that's within driving distance of my house and it's amazing. They also have products that I haven't used yet, but since I don't have to like order them online, it makes it easy to just drive to the store and fucking buy them, and then I can make cool shit. This is, this just changes everything. It's, this is awesome. Anyway, I'm driving to the molding place now. We're going to see how that goes. I'm gonna drop our body off and I'm gonna pay for it. Hopefully he doesn't make he doesn't charge me today. Hopefully I pay when I come pick it up. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm a little apprehensive because I've never had this actually done. So we'll see how it goes. Let's do it. All right, guys. Today is like the best day ever. So we found a store, awesome store that has everything I could ever need for making products. Then I I came over here to this mold place and they're exactly what I imagined. I met Paul, the guy who owns it. He's a great guy, awesome guy. I talked to him for a while. He showed, showed me the whole process, showed me what he plans on doing and showed me what our mold will actually look like when it's done. And this is incredible. It's, it's this place opens up a doorway to me being able to make really amazing products. Um, I I have a lot of great ideas, right? I, I have a lot of really awesome ideas for sculptures and monsters and creatures and things like that, but I'm not amazing at making giant molds yet. I don't have the capability to even make a giant mold because I don't have like a forklift to move a plaster mold that's going to weigh like like 500 pounds or something. This lets me, I can make a sculpture that yeah, it's going to weigh a lot. I could load it up on a truck, on a pallet, bring it here, drop it off, ha have a mold made. And the mold's going to be way lighter than any kind of plaster mold, as well as it'll be way stronger than any kind of a plaster mold. It'll last a longer time than a plaster mold. Um, yes, up front, the cost of the mold is, it, is more, but if I can use it for 10 times longer, that's great. Um, I'm really happy about this. I, I can't even express it. Today has been, today has changed the entire kind of pathway of where we're, we are heading as a company and it's really exciting. So anyway, I'm gonna drive home, drop this stuff off at the haunted house. In about a, a week, I'll have a fiberglass mold and it'll be great. So anyway, I'll see you guys in Indiana. All right guys, so we are up at the haunt now. Um, like I explained earlier, today's been amazing from a standpoint of um, progressing with this haunted house, um, specifically with the production side. So today was great. Um, now we're going to work on completing orders and um, new products that we're going to have at the show. So I've got a pile of surgeon's coats here uh, that I'm going to be ripping up and stuff. Chris is in here. He's working on pouring masks and then man is working on a new mask that I had the idea to make um, before we left so that will be done tonight hopefully we've got a few of the surgeons coats also done tonight um, and then we're going to start sending orders out here 
Um, actually, we had a guy who came and um, picked his up today. So the first of the Trans World orders are delivered on what should have been the first of the Trans World days. So um, yeah, fun stuff. We're gonna get to work and I'll show you some stuff. All right, guys, we're about to head out of here. So the crew got all of these um, surgeon's coats distressed. For the most part, it looks like we got about one left to do. So we'll be able to paint those tomorrow. We got some masks poured up, drying in there. We're trying out this new latex. And Devin's trying to scare herself with this cre creepy video. If you'd like to know what it's called, I'll tell you. Just ask in the comments. Um, we went through most of the haunt and for the last two days we've been making a comprehensive list of changes and additions that we'd like to add to like every, every room. Just small stuff like we need to put a body here, add some kind of detail here, stuff like that. Just to enhance everything, make it the best that it can be because that's what we strive for. And we, we, when you build a room, but then the next year your, your, your skill is higher, your bar is higher, you want to go back and rebuild everything. Obviously, we're not going to rebuild everything, but we can add small things he, here and there, make it really cool. So anyway, um, if you guys are interested in hearing about the list, I could talk about it a bit, but I mean, there's literally two pages and we haven't even went through Word H yet. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe. Huh? I'm no. I don't do it. I don't care. Please? No. Can I just like stand in the background? No. <laughs> so hi. <laughs> anyway. I'm Hill. Make sure you guys hit subscribe. Leave like. a comment if you want to talk to me. I make sure Share. I always answer them. Drop a like. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Justin I'm Tuning Hill. Out. You stay, stay and scary. You stay scary. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Wait.